Dr. Hogan here with the Sports Pod. Today I'm going to be showing you what's called a hip control articular rotation, or a hip car for short. The goal here is we're going to take our hip, in this case my left hip, and move it through its full range of motion. What we're trying to do here is create active control of our hip through all this range of motion. Cars are extremely important. I typically describe them as the brushing of your teeth through your joints. It's the bare minimum of what you should be doing in order to create happy, healthy joints. So I'm going to walk you through a hip car and then talk about some things you can look out for while you're doing these. So I'm going to start facing this way. I like to have something to hold on to because I'm going to be standing on one leg. So before I start, I'm going to stand up nice and tall. I'm going to squeeze this glue, create a little tension in my abs here. And I'm going to pretend everything here is frozen solid except for this leg. So I'm going to start by lifting my leg up into flexion as high as I can get it. Then I'm going to go out into what's called an abduction. Okay. From here, I'm going to keep my leg high. I'm going to go into internal rotation. It's not going to be a lot of movement, just a little bit here. And I'm going to continue this circle around this way, trying to keep that knee high, but trying to keep all of this still. I'm going to end up back in extension here. And then I'm going to drop it. That's halfway, so now I've got to do it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go back into extension. I'm going to lift out to the side. Now I'm going to create external rotation. So I think my knee goes back, my foot comes forward. I'm going to feel a little cranky in here. That's perfect. So I'm going to lift the knee higher. And I'm going to bring it back in. Okay. So that would be one hip control articular rotation. Some things we can look out for when we're doing these. Okay. Whenever people got into abduction, I tend to see this a lot. We shouldn't rotate open. That's going to limit how much our hip does the work. We want to stay facing this way. Okay. The other one is we go back into extension. A lot of people tend to overextend from the lumbar spine. You want to avoid that as well. So if you try and stay tall and keep your abs on, it should allow you to avoid some of that. Okay. The goal here is that the hip does all of the work. So we want everything else to be completely still. Okay. So those are some of the finer points about a hip control articular rotation. So a fantastic thing you can do for overall hip health. I recommend you do several every day. So if you're having any hip issues and have some more questions, you can reach out to us on YouTube, DM us on Instagram, give the office a call. We look forward to hearing from you. Enjoy some of these hip control articular rotations. Might get a little cranky. We've got a lot of fun.